after a pericentric inversion, not all areas correspond when homologous chromosomes align in meiosis during prophase one. If crossing over occurs within the inverted region, this will result in some chromosomes possessing duplicated regions and some chromosomes possessing deleted regions. After a paracentric inversion, when chromosomes align during prophase I of meiosis to form tetrads, not all areas will correspond to those on the homologous chromosome. If crossing over occurs within the inverted region, it will result in acentric chromosomes without a centromere and dicentric chromosomes with two centromeres. The presence of inversions on chromosomes can be referred to as crossover suppressors. They aren't crossover suppressors. Crossing over can still occur between homologous chromosomes during prophase one of meiosis. However, after crossing over has occurred, the chromosomes which are produced have duplications or deletions in the case of pericentric inversions, or can be acentric or dicentric in the case of paracentric inversions. In either case, these chromosomes may lead to the death of an embryo because of the degree of genetic change involved. This is especially true if there are multiple inversions on a particular chromosome. So while inversions do not suppress crossing over, they do make it likely that the embryo will fail if it inherits one of the resultant chromosomes from crossing over.